Okay. Okay. Here's the woodworking area, which is on the ground, or the uh, wood nailing area. I'm just going to use the uh, same nail gun I used for the crown staples and my metal pictures, but I have just brad nails, one and a quarter inch brad nails here. So we're good to go there. And I'm going to make sure everything fits right, so now I'll just use Gorilla Wood Glue. I found this to be the best. Um, the nails hold it together until the glue dries, and once the glue dries, that's what's going to be the main bonding for the, the corner. So, let's get this down. Okay. This part's kind of critical, the first couple of pieces. I try to put the glue a little bit more towards the, the back side of it so it doesn't squish out the front and I have to wipe it off because that's going to be stained later. When you're working with old pieces of wood sometimes they're uneven. And that's the best thing you can do is just try to match up the best you can. Do both of these pieces since they're going to be so close to together when I'm nailing one of the the first end there. Okay. Okay, we're basically done letting it dry. Now we're going to let it dry for about 24 hours and uh, set them out with the rest of them. So all I got to do the rest of the morning here is cut the rest of those pieces of wood just like you saw me cut this one. And this is going to be a beauty. It's going to be real nice once it's stained. I'll obviously sand it out. The next video we're going to show, we're going to fill the nail holes in, and if you can see those, with wood dough. We use a wire brush afterwards because we can't really sand this. So we want this to be natural, but we'll be sanding the inside part to get all that off, and then, then finally cleaning them up and then staining them in the lacquer room. So um, that's how you make your own frames. These frames are really cool. You can't buy frames like that. That's what's really neat. And you can experiment around with the different cuts. You put that on the outside or the inside. I like to have it on the inside because it kind of makes people point your eye towards the picture part. It's kind of angled in versus on the outsides. So. Anyway, start making your own frames if you like to do that, or if you just want to have a couple pictures around you want to make some cool frames out of, uh, let alone try to sell them, but you make some neat ones for yourself. Take care for now. In the next video, we'll show you the other processes.
Okay, I'm on the last one of all those uh, 10 or 12 that I had set up ready to go and I've cut the 45s for this one. I just wanted to show one thing here too that um, I mentioned before that I am basically making the picture to fit the frame but if you have a picture which is an 11 by 14 and you want to make a nice frame for it in order to measure that out to make your frame pieces say for instance you would want to be 14 inches from here to here and on smaller pieces you'd want to be 11 inches from there to there so it's not on the inside here it's this point right here where your picture is going to sit up against the the uh, inside of the inset there so it's about that so you're gonna make sure that this this area right here is a little bit more than 11 by 14 or 12 by 16 or 8 by 10 or whatever so I just want to ver clarify that that even though I don't have to worry about that so if you did have one that you had to make exact size what you'd have to do is measure it and so say for instance if you wanted it 14 inches you had an 11 by 14 picture so you can measure from 14 over here and you'd end up cutting it way back over in here. You have to kind of mark it and then slowly cut it back to get it exact on your, your frame. So just an FYI there that it's a little harder to make the frame to fit the picture versus the picture to fit the frame, which I do in my metal picture. So hopefully that'll clarify that for you and you won't make a mistake by having some nice wood and then cutting it too short or too long. Okay, we finished off I don't know what we got there, 12 of them, something like that, but uh, that's all for the day. What I'm going to do is let them sit and rest in the sun and the, and the dry air for 24 hours or so to make, make sure that glue dries real good before I even start messing around with them. And then the next step will be filling in the nail holes with wood dough. And then the next step after that will be sanding and then staining and then the final coat of some matte lacquer. Um, Rust-Oleum spray paint that I used to to finish them off. There's one of them as you can see in the bottom right it's, it, The wood was really tweaked out. I was kind of concerned about that. And it's not actually a true rectangle it looks more like a trapezoid type of thing, but I might use it I might not but uh, I'm, I'm sure you you gather a little bit of good information there to, to help you out Should you decide to ever want to tackle making your own frames are really easy to do the wood is free if you find it And you only have to have a few minimal tools. You don't have to have fancy stuff but you can make some stuff that's really cool, especially when I get some of these that have old nail holes in them, like up in those two right there. I'm going to finish them off with get some old nails in them. I'll specifically highlight those. And the one at the top is the one that we did first off in this video segment, showing the, uh, the rabbit cutting inset for the picture that's going to go in the back of it. So thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.